Let's take a few minutes and discuss AWS D1.1 Structure Steel Prequalifications of WPSs. WPS stands for Well Procedure Specification. Note that AWS D1.1 is a code, and by law, all codes must be available to the public. So if you would like a copy of AWS D1.1, the link is listed above. The welding processes that are pre-qualified is shielded metal arc welding, known as stick, submerged arc welding, gas metal arc welding, except for gas metal arc welding of the short circuiting type transfer, and flux core arc welding which conform to all of the provisions of Section 3, shall be deemed as pre-qualified and therefore approved for the use without performing WPS qualification tests for the process. For WPS pre-qualification, conformance with all of the applicable provisions of Section 3 shall be required. C 3.1 And note that there are limitations of WPS variables. All pre-qualified WPSs to be used shall be prepared by the manufacturer, fabricator, or contractor as written pre-qualified WPSs and shall be available to those authorized to use or examine them. The written WPS may follow any convenient format, CNXE, for example. The welding parameters set forth in 4 in 1 through 4 of this section shall be specified in the written WPSs within the limitations of variables prescribed in Table 4.5 for each applicable process. Changes in these parameters beyond those specified in the written WPS shall be considered essential changes and shall require a new or revised pre-qualified written WPSs. Changes outside of the amperage range, the voltage, the travel speed, shielding, gas flow rate, and other parameters. Let's have a look at legend for figures 3.3 and 3.4 to have a better understanding of the joint designation. Symbols for joint types. B stands for butt joint, C corner joint, T, T joint, and so on. Symbols for the base metal thickness and penetration. The P is partial joint penetration. The L is limited thickness. The U is unlimited thickness. The symbols for weld types. The one is a square groove. The two is a single V groove. The three is a double V groove. The four is a single bevel groove. Then you have five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, next is the symbols for welding processes if not shielded metal arc welding, or if not stick. The S is submerged arc welding. The G is gas metal arc welding. The F is flux core arc welding. Then you have the welding processes. Shielded metal arc welding, stick. Then you have MIG, flux core, and sub arc. Also, you have the welding positions. The F stands for flat. The H, horizontal. The V, vertical. The H is overhead. Then you have dimensions, the uppercase R, which is the root opening, the angle sign, which is the groove, which refers to the groove angles. The lowercase F is the root face. Then you have the R, which stands for the radius of a J or U joint and so on. But what, what, but what confuses people, I think the most is the joint designation. The lowercase letters, for example, A, B, C, D, etc are used to dif differentiate between joints that would otherwise have the same joint designation. But I'll explain this better in the next slide. As mentioned in the previous slide, we'll discuss one of the joint designations. Let's discuss B-U4A. The letter B indicates the joint type, which is a butt joint. Following the B is the letter U which indicates that the well can be used with material of unlimited thickness, as opposed to the letter L, which would indicate that the well is only appropriate within a range of thickness. And P is partial joint penetration. Okay, following the U is the number four, which lets you know that this is a single bevel groove. And following the number four is the lowercase letter A, which is used to differentiate between joints that would otherwise have the same joint design.
So this small lowercase letter A lets you know that this joint design will have a backing. If it had the letter B, it would have no backing. So that's the difference. So the A lets you know that you will have a backing and the B will let you know that you will not have a backing. So if you look on the AWS D1.1 and you see B-U4B, lowercase b, that means that that joint designation do not have a backing.